some of the user interface settings on your system may be different than the settings you see on your screen. So in this lesson I'll show you how to change the user interface settings so that SolidWorks on your system works the way it does in the course. First let's look at setting up shortcut keys. Right click anywhere on the command manager and then select customize. Now select the keyboard tab. This page allows you to set keys on your keyboard so that they evoke commands. Currently all the commands are displayed in the list but you can reduce the size of the list by selecting a category from the combo box. A better way to find commands is to type the command in the search window. For example, type line in the window. Now if you scroll down you can see the line command in the sketch entities category. This table also describes where you can find commands in the pull down menu. The line command is in the tools pull down menu under sketch entities. You rarely have to use the pull down menu but if you need to find out how to evoke a command this is one way to do it. Do a search for the command and then use the categories and subcategories to learn where the command is located in the pull down menus. The shortcuts column is used to specify shortcut keys for commands. In this case the letter L is assigned to the line command. So when you're editing a sketch you can type the L key to evoke the line command. If the letter L is not assigned to the line command on your system, click in the cell and then type the L key. Now let's confirm that the D key is assigned to the smart dimension command. Enter dimensions in the window and you'll find the smart dimension command in the dimension subcategory. We want this command to be evoked when you type the D key, so enter the letter D in the shortcut cell. As you can see the smart dimension command is in the tools pull down menu under dimensions. It's faster to select the command from the ribbon and now that the D key will evoke the command typing the D key is the fastest way to evoke the command. Click OK and now let's look at the pull down menu. Place your pointer over this arrow and the pull down menu appears. Move your pointer over the view pull down menu and this is where you can turn on and off the visibility of elements and toolbars. Any element that is depressed is visible and the ones that are not depressed are not visible. If you find that something is not visible on your system but you can see it in the course, you can usually go to this pull down menu to make it visible. We use the default settings in the course so you probably won't have to turn the visibility of elements on or off, but it's good to know how to do it if you need to. I also want to show you how dynamic reference visualization works. If you hover your pointer over Boss Extrude 1, arrows will appear. These are the dynamic reference visualization arrows. They point to the parent and child components in the feature tree. Sketch 1 was created on the top plane and the circle was constrained to the origin. So these arrows point to the origin and the top plane. This helps you find reference components but most of the time you'll know how features were created. So for the course we're going to turn this command off. Right click pin and deselect this icon. Now you're ready for the next lesson.